I am giving away a copy of Lightroom 4. You just need to head over to my Facebook page and take a quick poll. The link for my Facebook page is right down below this video. I thought it would be appropriate to take a few moments and talk a little bit about Lightroom 4, give you a, a brief overview and talk a little bit about um, why I love it so much uh, and why I would give away a copy. So here we are, Lightroom 4. As I said, this is just really an overview. I'm not going to get into how-tos. I have those videos coming um, down the road. Probably as, just as we get into the new year, I'll start putting those up. We have these modules in Lightroom for library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, and web. And switching between them gives you different options on the side. Lightroom can really look a little overwhelming at first. I know when I first started using uh, Lightroom with version 2, I think. Prior to that, I'd used Aperture. Uh, you know, there is a learning curve here, but it is well worth taking the time because for me, if there's one thing, one sentence that I had to say about Lightroom, it is the way to get your pictures onto your computer, edited, and off to their destination better than any other, other program, better than any other program I've ever worked with. That's what I really like about Lightroom. So let's start here in the library module and just kind of give a brief overview of what's going on here. Over on the left, I have these folders um, where I keep my images organized. It's just a small subset of a larger catalog. Um, down below that, I have collections. Collections, they call these smart collections um, because they can automatically grow based on certain criteria. If I went into one of these folders and I marked a image red, it would automatically be added to this little colored red collection right here. And that's just a, a different way to kind of organize your pictures. You can also um, give them star ratings from one to five. You can flag them. You can give them keywords. Keywords I use, I tag just about every single picture. That is great for the destination you're sending them off to. Uh, places like SmugMug allow you to search by keywords very easily. So I can, with a quick click, say, show me every cat picture I've ever taken. And I can see all of the cats that have ever been owned in the family and taken. And here we got Harry Houdini, who's um, quite a, getting quite on in his years. But um, hopefully his stare isn't bothering you too much. So over on the right-hand side of the library panel, we have the histogram, and you should see that on the back of your camera from time to time. There's a lot of good information there. And right below that, the metadata. So the uh, ISO, my focal length, my aperture, and my shutter speed all right here. This information is great to spend a few moments looking at um, along with each picture. Uh, it can really tell you a lot and give you a good sense of, well, why is... Um, you know, why is that person blurry in the background of this picture? Why is everything blurry? I shot it at too slow of a shutter speed. A lot of great information is contained in that. And uh, a lot of times folks ask me for tips on how they can be a better photographer. And one of the top tips that I can give is to take a few moments reviewing your pictures um, after you shoot and looking at the metadata along with that. We have this quick develop panel right below that. I very rarely use that because lots more... Um, uh, Control is provided to you in the develop module, but that's there. Keywording I mentioned. And down underneath of this is you can caption um, your pictures and give them titles. Lots more of the EXIF data down there as well uh, and copyright information. Some of that stuff can be written in on import. There's a lot of things that you can automate as you bring the pictures in. You can even develop them a little bit as you bring them in. Let's talk about that in the develop module. So the develop module, this is where I think Lightroom can feel a little overwhelming at first, but really um, with just a little bit of time and effort, it really pays off because you can really take your pictures to the next level. All of those pictures, uh, I feel comfortable saying 99.9% .9 of the pictures online that you see that make you go, oh, that's a nice picture. They have been post-processed at least some, maybe just a little bit of clarity or sharpness added, but the pictures that come straight out of the camera um, you know, need a little work to, to achieve their maximum potential. I think that's a nice way to say it. So we have this, the basic develop module here where you can change your white balance, you can increase or decrease your exposure. All of these pictures, um, almost all of these pictures we're looking at here 
I shot in RAW. So I have a, a lot of latitude in the, in the ability to change its exposure. Um, JPEGs you have less so, uh, but you can increase the clarity, vibrance. You can see I've already done some things to this. All of these changes I make are non-destructive, which means at any point, let's see here, for example, let's say that I want to turn this into a black or white image. So now it's a black or white image, and I can click off to another image um, and make some changes to that. And then I can come back to this black or white image. I can come back to it five minutes later, um, five days later, and decide that I want it to be color again and with a click it can be color again. Non-destructive editing, all of the changes I make are actually kept in a separate file and then overlaid over the image, so it's really nice. When you export um, as a JPEG, which is usually what you're gonna wanna do when you go to put them online, Facebook or an image gallery, it will then write those images onto the file and you will get your um, output as you expect it. So really nice there. But there's a lot of other tools down here. I'm just going to skip by a lot of things and go down to noise reduction. A lot of people agonize about buying a camera that has the best low light performance. Spending a hundred bucks on Lightroom can take your camera and leapfrog it over the next model up because it's really quite amazing the algorithms within Lightroom of the amount of light, or sorry, the amount of noise or that graininess that you get when you shoot at the higher ISOs. The amount that Lightroom is capable of reducing is, is quite impressive. You can also do uh, lens correction so you can uh, correct each picture for any distortion in the lenses. Some lenses are worse than others, um, but that's all options are there. You have red eye reduction. You can, if there is uh, a spot that needs to be cloned out, dust specks and things of that sort, all of those tools are up there and um, quite nice. Those are probably the two that you're going to spend most of your time in, your library and your develop. We have a lot of other power here, though. The map module I like. You can easily tag your images on a map, and then when you put them online, you can view them. Flickr allows you to do that. Smug Mug, too. A lot of different places, actually. And that is just the fact of dragging an image and dropping it on a map, and you can search and uh, pull up another uh, another location and drop it on there as well. That writes in there the GPS, lat the latitude and longitude information of that picture, um, which is very nice. Let's see, let's go back to the li library module real quick here and uh, show you that an update to Lightroom, which came with Lightroom 4, uh, is that you can do basic video editing now. At the very least, you can play the files, you can um, oops, trim them, so you can adjust the start and stop location. Um, and you can then, of course, tag them and export them out as well. So that's a really nice feature um, that Lightroom has added now. No heavy editing. I wouldn't call Lightroom a video editor um, by any means. You really can't combine clips and things of that sort or apply transitions. But you can um, trim clips that are in there. And that's a nice feature to it. So Lightroom. Really really worth the time and energy works well for me um, and it, it's it's something that really can take your pictures to the next level so as i said giving away a copy all you got to do is hop over to the facebook page if you have any questions about lightroom uh, or photo editing in general or of course cameras or gears or things of that sort um, just shoot me an email or leave a comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so you'll be notified of more videos coming out, especially the Lightroom ones. I'll be producing those, as I said, at the beginning of the new year, we'll be putting those out um, and making a nice playlist that covers a lot of the different functions of Lightroom and even putting some presets online that will uh, allow you to take um, what I do with my images um, and apply it to your own images as well. So I hope this was helpful and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.